In this video, we're discussing chemical equivalence. This is the idea that nuclei in the same chemical environment will have the same chemical shift. For example, the three protons on the leftmost methyl group are all in the same carbon atom, which is next to the CH2, which is next to the carbonyl group. Because there is free rotation around the CC bond, the three protons experience the same chemical environment on average. We can label them all HA. On the next CH2, these two protons are chemically equivalent to each other. They're both in the same carbon atom, which is next to the same groups, and free rotation renders them equivalent. We can label them both HB. And now the rightmost methyl protons are different from the leftmost methyl protons. They're in a carbon atom that's directly bonded to an oxygen atom, whereas the leftmost carbon atom is bound to a carbon. That puts these rightmost methyl protons in a different chemical environment than the HA protons. All the protons on the rightmost methyl group are chemically equivalent to each other. We can call them HC. Therefore, we expect to see three signals in the proton NMR spectrum for this molecule, which is what we do indeed see. Remember that we called these protons, protons A, B, and C. There is a signal just above 3.5 ppm, a second one just above 2, and a third at about 1 ppm. So that's the first idea about chemical equivalence. We see the same number of signals as there are chemically unique protons in the molecule. The next idea for chemical equivalence occurs when we have a plane of symmetry in the molecule. For example, this alkene has a plane of symmetry that cuts right down the middle, so the proton on the left is chemically equivalent to the proton on the right. We can call them both HA. Similarly, the protons on the left-hand methyl are chemically equivalent to the protons on the right-hand methyl. They're all sitting in the same chemical environment. We can call them HB. So for this spectrum, we expect to see two signals, one for HA and another for HB. If you look at the top right molecule, there's no axis or plane of symmetry, so all the protons are different from each other. There's HA, HB, HC, and HD. We expect to see four signals in that spectrum. Try the next two on your own before continuing. The bottom left benzene ring has a plane of symmetry that cuts right through the two substituents. There are two protons that we can call HA. They are closer to the chlorine, or ortho to the chlorine. Then there are two protons that we can call HB. They are closer to the nitro group, or ortho to the nitro group. The HAs are chemically equivalent to each other, and the HBs are chemically equivalent to each other. We expect to see two signals in the proton NMR spectrum. In the bottom right-hand molecule, there are two planes of symmetry. One cuts through the chlorine atoms, and the other cuts through two of the carbon-carbon bonds. In this case, all these protons are chemically equivalent to each other, giving a single signal for this compound, called HA. That covers the concept of chemical equivalence. There is also a concept called magnetic equivalence that we do not cover here, but that you would see in a later course.